Scientists are usually the ones doing the testing, but this time they are the ones being tested. And about time too, a new report by world-renowned statistician William M. Briggs, who we've had on Outsiders, by the way, is putting scientists and scientific institutions under the microscope to see just how reliable they are. And the results are quite shocking. Joining us to discuss this is a great friend of this show, marine physicist Peter Ridd. Peter, always great to see you. Uh, he, you've always been saying that maybe scientists should spend more time studying the scientific community and its particular flaws. Well, somebody has done that. Talk us through it, Peter. What, how important is this uh, study and what are the key findings that uh, uh, you alerted us to? Well, as you mentioned, normally scientists do experiments on things like mice, but in this case, uh, scientists became the mice and they became uh, a, a sci another scientist, did an experiment on a thousand other scientists. By giving them a whole bunch of data, it happened to be on whether immigration affects community attitudes and government responses. It doesn't actually matter. And it got a thousand scientists to then work out whether the answer was yes, there was an effect, or no, there was an effect, or whether you, you just couldn't tell from the data. And the results were amazing. About a quarter of the scientists said no, no effect. A quarter of the scientists said yes, there was definitely an effect. And half the scientists said yes, there was an effect, but it wasn't statistically significant, which really means that was, you can't tell. So what this means is that there should be one answer, either yes, no, or can't tell, but the answers were all over the place. It means that essentially between half and three quarters of the scientists got it wrong. And that amazingly is pretty typical of the uh, what we see in peer reviewed work. And when it's checked, about half of it, very roughly, is wrong. So it's yet another example of how our scientific institutions are just completely failing us. And the scientific profession has become one of the least trustworthy, I hate to say it as a scientist, one of the least trustworthy that there is.